Cheese. Nefarious old friend, you gotta admit, the sight of two dudes just hugging it out warms the cockles of your mechanical heart, huh? Well, Dr. Croyd seems to be doing better. Still keeps feeding me those treats, but otherwise he's surprisingly sane. So, another world saved, another galactic disaster averted. Some retirement, huh? Well, this may sound strange, but I think I prefer hero work. You know something, pal? So do I. You think the Tharpots will be okay when Dr. Croyd destroys these planet fragments? Time will tell, I suppose, but I believe they will be just fine. <laughs> Wait, how did you guys get down here? Ah, uh, yes, uh, about that, um, help finally arrived. Good evening, sir. I hope you don't mind, but, well, it turns out the evil sidekick market is a bit thin these days. I don't suppose there's room in your employ for one more? Nice try, Lawrence. But today's been a day of revelations for all of us. Together, we faced a villain that was neither robot nor squishy. And we learned a little something about life, friendship, and the sticky connective tissue between right and wrong. So I'm afraid Dr. Nefarious isn't going to do anything but steal our ship! What do you expect? I'm a super villain! <laughs> oh boy! Sometimes it feels like the universe just writes itself. Yeah, but how do we get off this rock now? I'll fly. I got shotgun! I am not sure this vessel is ready for interplanetary travel. Nevo flew it over here from Billarog, didn't he? Besides, a couple new ion ducts, some pole sealants, maybe a new grav thruster. We'll be off the planet in no time. What planet? Who the heck are you people? Ratchet, we cannot pilot a weaponized drone into Luminopolis. Relax. I pilot weaponized drones into Luminopolis twice a week. It's like a fine of ten bolts in the class you take online. Or can probably pardon us. Perks of the job. Oh, why, why even bother?